Okay, yo, yo, Di Diablo updates, guys. Yo, who's excited for this? Everyone, this is Wyatt Chang, okay. game director of Diablo Immortal. Thank you all for tuning in to our YouTube premiere today. I have some very exciting news that I can't wait to share with you. To everyone who has been eagerly anticipating the release of Diablo Immortal, you won't have to wait much longer. So without further ado, check it out. try it right i'm gonna try it like how can i can't not try it right welcome back everybody this is wyatt here again and i'm joined now by adam fletcher also known as Yo, Pez he's radar he's our community lead for all things diablo he's how's it going adam doing great wyatt i'm pretty excited for all the great announcements that we had today for diablo immortal diablo immortal coming to pc along with mobile is huge and I know the community is going to have a ton Don't of smash different it. questions okay. Don't to smash related it. to this. And I think the biggest one will be, why PC? D dude, I follow this guy on Twitter. He's worked out like every single day for like 790 days, dude. Okay? This guy's fucking jacked. Okay? Why are we bringing Diablo Immortal to PC? It's always been our, our goal with Diablo Immortal to make a Diablo game a AAA experience that could reach as many players as possible. And we knew that by building it for mobile, that would be the best way to do that. Diablo Immortal is not only our first game built from the ground up for mobile, it's also our biggest and most ambitious Diablo game to date. It's gonna <laughs> yeah. 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 Dude, I, want, I need to say good things about this game so they give me beta access, dude. Oh my god, bro, please. <laughs> stop. Stop, Wyatt. Stop. Stop. It's going to have oh. rich social systems. It has deep progression systems that allow players to continually play the game, customize their character, and make their character more powerful over time. As we started to explore how we're going to reach new players and bring new players into the Blizzard family, we knew if our goal is to truly reach as many players as possible, we should be on PC as well. By being on both mobile and PC, we... What, you don't have phones? Wait, did he just, he just say that shit? Like, he, I, yeah, I did say. <laughs> and then they play the clip, you know. Um, they should have done, <laughs> and this he's gonna, Jerkin, he's gonna bring it up. He needs to bring it up, dude. He needs to clear the air, bro. You know that everybody will be able to enjoy Diablo everybody. Mortal, oh, hell yeah. whether or not you have a phone. <laughs> Sounds amazing, Wyatt. I think uh, I'm Wyatt. pretty excited for Diablo Mortal along with Good. a lot of other people. I think the next big question that the community has to ask is, when can they get their hands on Diablo Mortal? Don't smash it. Of course, it. Okay, the don't smash it. Yo, yo, yo. coming out. Well. The team's been hard at work, and we're really excited to be able to announce today that we are launching on June 2nd, and later that month in select Asia-Pacific regions. That's awesome to hear. June is right around- APEC? Well, why, why does Oceanic always get fucked? So you tell me I'm gonna have to play on a fucking US server? And then I'm gonna have to fucking reroll? No way, bro. What, dude? Around the corner, I know people are really excited for the date. I think uh, people are also really excited to hear a little bit more about how the game plays on PC, especially if they've been following the development of the mobile version over the past couple of years. It plays great on PC. And another thing I'm really happy to be able to share is that you have full cross-play and cross-progression. That means you could be playing on PC 
and your friends that you're in a party with, they could be on mobile or PC on the platform of their choice. And then like, it's super cool to be at home playing on your PC and then you suddenly you realize you need to head out the door. Take a shit. So you just log out, grab your phone, log yourself in, you're right where you left off from and you can take the game with you on the go. That's awesome to hear that I can take Diablo Immortal on the go or play from the comfort of my own home. I think people will be really excited about that. I know that Diablo Immortal is coming from- Wait, if there's PvP, the PC players are gonna just shit on the phone players, right? Surely. And let's say, and this is a piece, and this is a, it's like some OB aimbot shit you get. Cause there, there is PvP in this game, right? There is, there is PvP in this game. Like that's- Mobile and uses touchscreen controls. Can you explain to us like how the controls will work on PC? Yeah, absolutely. During our last closed beta, we added controller support for mobile and players really responded positively, telling us that they loved being able to connect a controller Don't to their it. phone okay. to play Don't the smash portal. Well, we're adding controller support to the PC version of the game as well, so those controls will feel identical. But not everyone wants to play with a controller, so we'll be adding mouse and keyboard support as well. That's great to hear. I've, I've personally always enjoyed playing all my Diablo games using mouse and keyboard, so it's great to hear that it's coming to Immortal. Uh, how is that experience on Diablo Immortal? In Diablo Immortal, you can use your basic primary attack as well as movement using the mouse buttons, as players would probably be familiar, using the left and right mouse buttons, and activate your abilities. By default, they're bound to one, two, three, and four on the keyboard with a potion on Q. And for the first time ever in a Diablo game, we're also gonna support moving using WASD. I really enjoy playing that way since Diablo Immortal, if you come from the touchscreen controls, allowed movement and aiming, it's nice to be able to move around with WASD while aiming a skill using the mouse. It feels super natural. That's amazing to hear. We're getting WASD controls in Diablo. Uh, I think people are also gonna ask like, how does the game look on PC? It, it looks gorgeous. Uh, the thing about our phones these days is our phones actually have very high resolutions. The pixel density on your phone is very yeah, high. It's big dick. So we can still run at a great resolution True. on PC and the game just looks absolutely gorgeous. So as you mentioned earlier, Diablo Immortal is the biggest Diablo game to date. What can players expect from this title? Well, whether players choose to play on either mobile or PC, they'll be getting the latest in the Diablo franchise. Now, Diablo Immortal is a huge game. We've got six character classes, including some iconic favorites like the Barbarian, the Wizard, the Necromancer. And there's gonna be a whole main quest storyline for players to play their way through. This main quest storyline is going to explore eight different zones throughout Sanctuary. And as- I Honestly, looking at the gameplay, it's like, it does actually look, pl it looks playable. Right, especially considering it's gonna be on a PC, right? That looks that looks playable, chat. Like that looks playable. You know, that looks like I mean, depend. It depends, chat. It depends. Like you got you got four abilities, and you got your oh yeah, you got five abilities and a health potion. You know, you level up, you get damage. Eight different. There's gonna be gear in the game, right? Zones throughout Sanctuary, and as you go through. The timeline is set in between Diablo 2 and Diablo 3. Players are going to meet up Down with Decker D3, Kane I mean, and try perhaps. to locate the fragments of the World Stone. Now, if players remember, at the end of Diablo 2, Tyrael had just shattered the corrupted World Stone, and those fragments were scattered all over Sanctuary. And so this is the player's opportunity to assist Deckard Kane in finding those World Stone fragments and destroying them. So Diablo fans have always loved the loot aspect within the games. What can players expect for Diablo Immortal when it comes to loot? Well, Diablo Immortal definitely has the familiar monster slaying action that players are familiar with. And when you kill those monsters, you wanna see that loot pop out. And uh, players will be able to grab that loot and use it to customize their characters. We've got legendary items that really change up your skills as well as set items that uh, confer additional bonuses to how your character plays. Now during closed beta, we did get some feedback on our items as well as the general gameplay, and we have even more improvements planned, and we'll have more details to reveal about that as we get closer to launch. I'm super stoked to hear about all the news coming for uh, Diablo Immortal and the release date. Uh, did you have any final closing thoughts for the community here today? Well, it's a very exciting time. I'm very happy to be able to announce our launch date on June 2nd. And uh, on behalf of the entire team, 
I want to thank everyone who's been supporting and showing their enthusiasm for Diablo Immortal. We can't wait to get the game into your hands. Now, our street date is June 2nd, but if you haven't yet already, uh, just a reminder that you can pre-register for the game. It's going to be out on both iOS and Android, and of course now, PC. Thanks again, Wyatt, for all the information, and thanks to everyone for tuning in today. For more information on Diablo Immortal, make sure to follow us on social media and to check out DiabloImmortal.com. We'll see you in Westmarch. I mean, it's good that it's on PC, right? It's good that they're releasing it on PC at least, right? Like, right? Like, that's, that's good. That's good. Like, that's good. That's good. What doesn't the phone do? It's not coming on PC. Well, I've already bought a new phone after that one, dude. It's whatever, bro. It's what it is, bro. Because he is God Game Game God Game.